When you do the ombre lip, you actually don't use a lipstick. It's using two different colors of lip liners to create dimension to the lip, or the ombre effect. The first color I've chosen is Guava Waterproof Gel Lip Liner. And you want to line the entire outer rim of your lip first. And then use the edge of the pencil to fill in your entire lip like you would a lipstick. And then massage your lips together to work the product into your lip. You then take something that's about three or four shades darker, and I've chosen Plum Wine. And this is how you create dimension. So you take this in the inner triangular shape of your lip by lining the outer edge and filling it all the way in to the inner part of the lip. And you do this both top and bottom. So you can see how my lips have more dimension when they're lighter towards the center and darker towards the outside. You do not want to line this all the way across the lips. You notice how I've kept that towards the outside. After applying those products, you then want to follow with a lip moisturizer. Right now my lips feel pretty dry, but you want something dry so the color and the pigment stays on for six to eight hours. This product is called Lip Dew, SPF 15. And even though it looks like it's orange in color, it's clear and translucent on the lips. My lips feel more hydrated now and they have a little bit more shine. You can add a gloss on top. The lip liners don't stay on quite as long when you do, but this color is called Pink Opal and it's a part of my High Shine collection. And I would recommend applying this to the back of your hand and then using a lip brush or your fingers. If you're double dipping into the container by the end of your tube, it'll turn kind of a purpley guava color. So I'm gonna use my retractable lip brush and apply the pink opal all the way across my lips. And this gives you a little bit more shine.